uh, we're going to study cosmology, so we use these um, uh, ansatz for the, for the metric, the FRW. Uh, so the gauss bonnet term and the, the torsion, uh, the trace of the torsion tensor becomes, take, take this form. Uh, and what, what we need for the, for the energy symmetry approach is to, to construct a, a point like canonical Lagrangian from the, from the action. And how we do it is using the, the Lagrange multipliers. Lambda, N, uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2 here are the, the Lagrange multipliers. G bar and T bar are these two uh, forms. Uh, and G and T are radical. So uh, lambda N and lambda 2 can be calculated by varying the, this action with respect to, to G and uh, T respectively. So if we do it and if we also do a if we exclude the total derivative, in fact, uh, coming from this a double dot, uh, in the end, what we get is this uh, point like a canonical Lagrangian, which in fact has a configuration space of A, uh, G, and T. Uh, yeah. So, what the energy symmetry says, uh, in general, when we have a, a, a point transformation, uh, there exists a, a vector like this, uh, which is in fact, uh, denotes the, the, the symmetry. And uh, this is the induced transformation in the tangent space of the, the Lagrangian, of the function in general. Uh, and what the, the nether symmetry approach says, the, the, the nether symmetry theorem, the nether theorem, says is that uh, when a function uh, is invariant under this, uh, this symmetry, then the, the lead derivative across this vector, which denotes the symmetry, vanishes. Uh, and this system, L of a function equals zero, gives a, a system of differential of some number of differential equations depending on the, on the configuration space of the function. Uh, and especially in this system, we can uh, find possible symmetries. Um, if, of course, this uh, is true, uh, L, the, the lead derivative along the x vector uh, of f is equal to zero, then the x uh, is said to be the symmetry of the theory, and sigma zero here is the, the constant of motion, which we can, get, can use it to reduce the, the dynamics of the, of the theory. Um, in our case, as I said before, the, the Lagrangian takes this form, uh, and the, the tangent space uh, uh, is this one, the AA dot, G, G dot, T, T dot. And since uh, it's three dimensional, in fact, that the configuration space is six dimensional, the tangent one, the x vector takes this form, where A dot, the alpha dot, B, B, beta dot, and gamma dot are exactly the, are functions of A, G, and T, and take this, this form. So if we apply this uh, theorem, this approach in, in our theory, what we get is a system of 10 partial differential equations. Um, and uh, which we have uh, four unknown in fact the, the, the x vector, the symmetry vector and the uh, model of the theory and there are two ways to proceed we can either impose a specific symmetry and thus a specific form of this x vector and find the <coughs> for which uh, f uh, this symmetry uh, is is a symmetry of the theory, or to impose a specific uh, model of this, uh, a specific theory, and find which symmetries it respects. What we did is the second, and we started, in fact, uh, this specific, not so specific, but a little bit arbitrary models, uh, the, the um, sum of the power laws of G and T, and the product of the power laws. And very briefly, what we found in the first case, uh, in the sum, uh, for k different than 1 and arbitrary m, uh, there is no nether symmetry. So the, the, um, the theory, uh, in fact, uh, accepts no, no symmetry. But for k equal to 1 and arbitrary m, which means that we have a linear term here in G, uh, the theory effectively reduces to f of t gravity because the linear, the linear terms in G uh, in the four dimensional action uh, is just a, an invariant term and it doesn't uh, dynamically. Uh, effect, affect the theory. So what we have uh, is in fact the symmetries found before from the F theory. So the, the x vector takes this form and the constant of motion is, is this one. And in the second case, uh, we, uh, we consider the product of these two uh, 
functions of these two uh, variables. Uh, we found that for m equal to 1 minus k and k different from 0, again, there exists no other symmetry. But if k equal to 0, then we have the, uh, the previous case where the theory reduces to, to f of t, and we know the symmetries. But for k, for m equal to 1 minus k, and then the model takes this form, uh, we found the symmetry of, uh, yeah, and the, the symmetry vector that, that denotes, in fact, the uh, symmetry of the theory is this one. And we studied specifically the Euler-Lagrange equations uh, considering this model, f g t f g to the k t to the 1 minus k. The Lagrange takes this form. Uh, the equation, the Euler-Lagrange equations are these. Um, and if we solve them, uh, in fact, what, what we see is that this system, sorry, this system accepts power law uh, solutions uh, of this form, uh, where s is 2k plus 1. And uh, if we take specific values of, of k, we can see that we find different kind of, of solutions of the known Friedman uh, like power law solutions. And also, if k is uh, positive, we can find also the flare and differential solutions. So, what we see. Uh, thank you. Is that even without considering any any matter at all, we can find uh, dust solutions or, or matter-like solutions. So concluding, uh, what we did is studying the f of GT theory for this for this reason, as I said. Uh, we studied specifically the, the cosmology using the Nether symmetry approach in order to to reduce the dynamics of the system. And what we found is that this specific model seems to be uh, not of great importance here, but it seems to be interesting in fact, because we, we can uh, find some, uh, we can reproduce all the known cosmological solutions depending on the value of k. What's now to be done would be interesting in fact, to study for example spherical symmetry, and instead of imposing the FLW uh, answers for the metric, we could impose, uh, we can um, imply uh, spherical symmetric answers, and see uh, for example if we have the same behavior of, or yeah, this time, let's end this video. Thank you. Please remind us that you have another solution, don't you? have to the conservation of the PGM and the cancer. Yeah. Yeah, so over here, in your paper TG, generally, well, generally, your individual cancer is not conserved. Okay, you have a not conservation is. So it's to expect that you won't have those symmetries in specific cases. Those cases that you mentioned mm -hmm. only are meaning in T. So in those cases you do have the conservation of the immunity cases. So you have the mm -hmm. symmetries. Mm -hmm. Now one one possible approach would be to try and write the, 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 the conservation equation mm -hmm. and then you have some future terms which are in G and T okay. and then you that uh, that means zero. So that will impose your FFT G. Okay, okay, so it's conserved there. Mm -hmm. And for those solutions, you should find a specific or general. Yeah, in general, these kind of theories are not so reliable because even, for example, pure f of t theory uh, is not uh, invariant, it's not, it doesn't respect the equivalence principle. So I don't think that uh, not the, they are still viable, but they, they may be valuable in, specific, in very specific cases. Uh, but what's interesting here is just to why we are motivated to study this, just to, ex to exhaust all the, the torsional degrees of freedom possible. Sorry, just to take a question. Uh, sorry. So, for your EQT theory, the torsion, uh, the G, presumably as a torsion, is it also a. Um... Yeah, it's expressed in the, in a, the fit point formally, and we prove in the paper that uh, it's exactly the same with the. The general the metric one, let's say, plus the total the derivative. So effectively, dynamically, uh, so it's the same. What kind of mass have you assumed on your model? What kind of mass? Matter, matter. The energy momentum test. Nothing. 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 So it's a pure geometric assumption. Sure. And you have the Bianca identity or the generalized Bianca identity, whatever they prefer. So this is related to the question of transition. Yeah. So you're before we say, Martin, uh, sorry, uh, Costas, uh, the organization has informed me that uh, the talks tomorrow start at 9 or 8.30. Okay?
Everybody knows how to play. Let's sing.